Thank you for staying with us. The tendency of an average Nigeria to misuse or abuse power should worry all of us. The police have arrested the commander of the Anambra State Vigilante Group for allegedly torturing a female police officer. The police spokesman in the state, Ikenga Tochuku, who confirmed the arrest, said the commissioner of police, Echenge Cheng, ordered the arrest of the suspect following harassment and torturing of a female police officer at the Awudu Nobi Security Office in a trending video. What was this about? You know, it's, um, it's bad enough to, to torture any Nigerian. Mm. It's most reprehensible to film yourself torturing a fellow Nigerian. But what we have in this case mm. is a police officer being tortured by I'm vigilante not. men. A police officer, a police woman being harassed and tortured by vigilante men. What a function. Laughing at her, you know, it's, 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 it's very irritating uh, kind of thing. The producer uh, has uh, wisely decided not to show it because it um, prolongs the humiliation of the woman. Mm. You know, and that's not what uh, our viewers want to see. You have no reason in the world to do that. And that's why the police are sometimes reluctant to work with these vigilante mm. people, Amoteko and the rest. Because at some point, some of them will go beyond their boundaries. You can't torture a, a police person, a policeman, or a policewoman. You can't. You shouldn't even torture any Nigerian at all. If someone uh, uh, goes against the law of the land, hand them over. To the police you don't have the power of prosecution it is the police that has the power of prosecution you can apprehend and then hand over to police authorities uh, for them to take action that's the way it should be can violate human rights you can't, can't be torturing a police woman for god's sake it's, it makes no sense hmm. wally what do you make of this well i think it's quite um, unfortunate it also has gender implication uh, like Babagiri said, there's no need to torture somebody who's not even in the police or army, not to talk of a police officer. So I think this defines the need for us to uh, ensure more training for non-state actors who are involved in security um, work, especially the vigilante. If they can torture a police woman, you can imagine how many people they have been, that, that have been tortured that are not even reported. Mm. We just happen to know about this one because somebody decided to video the incident. So there may be other innocent people that, are, that have suffered a lot of, you know, torture, a lot of repression. So the state government needs to reform, and this has to be done through extensive training. And they must realize that there's no way they can do their work effectively without collaboration with the police which is even a, a superior institution than them. So we would like to see what happens to this uh, vigilante commander. We want to see some level of, uh, uh, to, to set precedence so that other people can learn that they cannot just commit this crime and go away with it.